Hello. So let's, um, I'm going to move forward a little bit on this uh, little avocado bottle painting project. Um, that'll, that'll be fun. Um, if you haven't done any, hopefully you got the, uh, the outline of the, um, the line drawing, a PDF of the line drawing, so you can transfer uh, a drawing to some watercolor paper. Just to uh, review, sort of what we what we've done um, is a little is working on first of all just this the avocado. All we did was a first layer of basically some um, a very light yellow to a little bit stronger yellow over the whole thing. The whole thing. I've sort of cleaned things up. The the drawing that I did was not that clean in class, but um, but that that will um, take kind of take care of itself as I keep going through it. So then I let that dry and came back over just the uh, the meaty part of the avocado um, with a little bit stronger yellow going to a uh, a little bit of uh, yellow green. I'll keep building up that part in a minute but first I'm going to um, work on the bottle and what I'm going to do on, with the bottle is basically this this idea here with a little peacock blue and adding in a little bit of a quin rose to get it sort of a darker purple sort of thing um, I'm going to do that over the whole bottle the uh, the label and, and, and everything I want to make sure everything's dry that's next to it and that's just going to be real loose, real not worried about, excuse me, real not worried about perfection. And as long as I'm keeping things light and, um, and watery, I can, I can adjust as necessary. Let's see here. This might be a little trickier, but um, yeah, I got it. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, some it's a big it's a big shape, right? It's a big area. So I'm gonna make sure to mix up quite a bit of this. Peacock blue. And it's a bigger area than you've than we've been practicing. It's a bigger shape than we've sort of been practicing doing a uh, a wash on. Uh, a couple things to note. I'm not going to worry too too much about being exactly within the lines because that can have a tendency to slow me down. And part of the whole point is to try to establish kind of a a nice. Um, juicy, in this case watery, wash across this whole um, shape and try to establish it so the water and paint are pretty evenly distributed. Um, the bigger the shape you're trying to do that with, the, the, the trickier it can be. So um, I'm starting off with, uh, like I say, this really light blue. So let's see what happens here. Uh, how about if I start in right about there? In hindsight, maybe I would have started there. But it's all, it's okay. And I'm getting, yeah, I, what am I doing? I'm getting, um, I wanted it a little bit more watery. You see, I'm still kind of treating it in a similar fashion where I'm cr creating that pooling amount of color and paint. In particular, the thing I'm doing is I've tipped it on its side so that, um, because I want the, uh, the color to get darker towards this side of the bottle and I'm using gravity to help me along with that. I'm going to um, 
bring in a little bit of water, kind of like we did in that in the study. Um, once again, not trying to really going around the avocado there, but trying to really not worry about the perfection of this particular one. There's a lot of water there. I think I'll soak that up. The background, a couple things that are in our favor is that the background is going to be even less, is going to help us sort of not, it's going to help us um, so that any any imperfections in, you know, how perfectly we've painted within the lines um, aren't going to be, are going to be covered up. Um, I'm in a little awkward spot here. Let me see. I'm going to bring in some Quin Rose, even though I'm, I'm going to, I should get a smaller palette, I think, next time I start uh, videotaping. But just a really small amount of, um, that color along here is what I'm kind of playing with. Go up, up and around there. This is going to be really just a uh, like an, an under layer that the uh, the label will um, will end up painting around this which will leave the label sort of this this um, the color it is now and and that effect will be pretty cool as as we get this bottle really nice and dark so uh, let's see cool I'm gonna um, I'm gonna let it dry <laughs> 